The Pentagon remains tight-lipped on Ukraine's recent military operation in the Kursk region. This silence speaks volumes, leaving many to wonder what is truly happening behind closed doors. The lack of information has created a vacuum, one that is quickly being filled with speculation and concern. It fuels speculation and deepens the mystery surrounding a potential leak within the US government. Analysts are poring over every detail, trying to piece together a puzzle with too many missing pieces. The media is abuzz with theories, each more alarming than the last, as the public grapples with the implications of a possible security breach. The question lingers. Is there a Putin insider, a mole operating at the highest levels of power? The idea of a double agent within the ranks of the US government is not just the stuff of spy novels, it is a chilling possibility that could have far-reaching consequences. The very thought sends shivers down the spine of those who understand the gravity of such a situation. Press Secretary Brigadier General Pat Ryder, in a carefully worded statement, deflected questions about the operation. His demeanor was calm, but the evasiveness of his answers did not go unnoticed. Journalists pressed for more information, but Ryder remained steadfast, reiterating that it was not the Pentagon's place to comment on Ukraine's military strategy. He stated that it was Ukraine's prerogative to discuss its military actions. This statement, while diplomatically sound, did little to satisfy the growing curiosity and concern. The public and the press are left to wonder what is being hidden and why. This non-committal response has done little to quell the growing unease. The atmosphere in press briefings is tense, with journalists and analysts alike sensing that there is more to the story than what is being shared. The lack of concrete information only serves to heighten the sense of anxiety and suspicion. The world watches waiting for answers that the Pentagon seems unwilling to provide. International allies and adversaries alike are keenly observing the situation, each with their own interests and concerns. The global community is on edge, aware that the implications of this silence could be profound. The lack of transparency raises serious concerns about the security of sensitive information. If there is indeed a leak, it could compromise not only the current military operations, but also future strategies and alliances. The integrity of classified information is paramount and any breach could have devastating effects. If details of Ukraine's military strategy are being leaked, it could jeopardize the entire war effort. The stakes are incredibly high and the potential fallout from such a breach could be catastrophic. Military planners are undoubtedly working around the clock to secure their operations and prevent further leaks. The Pentagon's silence only amplifies these fears. Behind the scenes, there is likely a flurry of activity as officials scramble to address the situation. The tension is palpable and the pressure to find answers and restore trust is immense. This silence is not just about a single military operation, it is indicative of a larger issue, one that could have far-reaching implications for national security and international relations. The need for transparency and accountability has never been more critical. It speaks to a larger issue, a potential breach of trust that threatens to unravel the delicate alliance between the US and Ukraine. The strength of this partnership is crucial for both nations and any hint of mistrust could weaken their united front. As the world watches, the need for clarity and resolution becomes ever more urgent. The relationship between the United States and Ukraine has always been complex. Over the years, it has seen its fair share of ups and downs moments of solidarity and periods of tension. The Alliance, once a beacon of hope and mutual cooperation, now finds itself at a crossroads. Once built on a foundation of shared interests and mutual support, the Alliance has become increasingly strained in recent months. The initial camaraderie that characterized their interactions has given way to a more cautious and guarded approach. Both nations, while still publicly committed to their partnership, are privately grappling with a myriad of issues that threaten to unravel their bond. The shift began subtly, a slow erosion of trust fueled by whispers of doubt and suspicion. Diplomatic channels that once flowed freely with open communication have become clogged with hesitations and second guessing. The undercurrents of mistrust have grown stronger, making it increasingly difficult for both sides to navigate their shared challenges. August 2024 marked a turning point. It was a month that would be remembered for its significant impact on US-Ukraine relations. 
The events that unfolded during this period would set the stage for a series of confrontations and misunderstandings that neither side could have anticipated. The Ukrainian government, frustrated by what it perceived as a lack of US support, launched a daring offensive in the Kursk region of Russia. This bold and unexpected move was seen as a direct challenge to the status quo, a statement of Ukraine's willingness to act independently in the face of perceived neglect. This bold move, taken without prior consultation with the US, sent shockwaves through Washington. The American political establishment was caught off guard, scrambling to understand the motivations behind Ukraine's actions and the potential ramifications for their own strategic interests. The Pentagon was caught off guard. Military leaders who had long considered Ukraine a reliable partner were now faced with the reality of an ally acting unilaterally. The implications of this were profound, raising questions about the future of their military cooperation and the broader geopolitical landscape. The audacity of the operation, coupled with the possibility of a security leak, raised serious questions about the level of communication between the two countries. Was there a breakdown in intelligence sharing, or had Ukraine deliberately chosen to withhold critical information from its ally? These questions loomed large, casting a shadow over the once strong alliance. Had the US, once Ukraine's staunchest ally, been kept in the dark? The sense of betrayal was palpable as American officials grappled with the realization that their trusted partner might have acted without their knowledge or consent. The atmosphere in diplomatic circles grew increasingly tense, with both sides wary of each other's intentions. This incident exposed the growing rift between the two nations. The symbolic turning away of their flags represented more than just a political disagreement. It was a manifestation of the deepening divide that threatened to sever their ties altogether. It revealed a lack of trust, a fear that secrets shared could be weaponized against them. The handshake, once a symbol of their unity, now felt cold and distant. Behind closed doors, secretive meetings and hushed conversations became the norm. As both sides sought to protect their interests, the once unbreakable bond was fracturing and the consequences could be devastating. The future of US-Ukraine relations hung in the balance, with both nations facing the daunting task of rebuilding trust and finding a way forward. The path ahead was uncertain, but one thing was clear. The days of unquestioned alliance were over, and a new chapter in their relationship was beginning. Adding fuel to the fire are the candidacies of Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, both of whom have expressed skepticism about US involvement in the Ukraine conflict. Their rhetoric, often critical of Ukraine and sympathetic to Russia, has only deepened the sense of unease within the Biden administration. Trump, known for his unpredictable foreign policy stances, has publicly questioned the wisdom of continued aid to Ukraine. His comments have been interpreted by some as a tacit endorsement of Putin's actions, further straining relations between Washington and Kiev. Vance on the campaign trail has echoed Trump's sentiments suggesting that the US should prioritize its own interests over those of foreign nations. This isolationist rhetoric gaining traction among certain segments of the American public has done little to reassure Ukrainian officials. The possibility of either man winning the upcoming election has sent shockwaves through Ukraine. A Trump or Vance presidency, they fear, could mean the end of US support, leaving them vulnerable to Russian aggression. Faced with growing internal and external pressures, President Biden finds himself in a race against time. The stakes have never been higher and the clock is ticking. Every decision he makes is scrutinized. Every move he takes is analyzed. The weight of the nation rests heavily on his shoulders as he navigates through this complex and perilous situation. He must uncover the truth behind the potential leak, restore trust with Ukraine and counter the rising tide of isolationism at home. The international community watches closely, waiting to see how the United States will respond. Allies and adversaries alike are keenly observing, ready to react to any sign of weakness or indecision. President Biden, I've ordered a full-scale investigation into the alleged security breach. This is not just about national security, it's about maintaining our credibility on the global stage. We must show that we are capable of handling such threats with the utmost seriousness and efficiency. The FBI and CIA are working tirelessly to identify the source of the leak and assess the extent of the damage. 
Teams of analysts are combing through mountains of data, looking for any clue that could lead them to the perpetrator. The pressure is immense, but the dedication and resolve of these agencies are unwavering. Every agency, from the Pentagon to the NSA, is on high alert, searching for any clue that could lead them to Putin's mole. The coordination between these agencies is crucial as they pool their resources and expertise to tackle this formidable challenge. The stakes are incredibly high and failure is not an option. At the same time, Biden is engaged in a delicate diplomatic dance trying to reassure President Volodymyr Zelensky of America's unwavering support. The relationship between the United States and Ukraine is more critical than ever and Biden knows that any misstep could have severe consequences. He must balance firmness with diplomacy, strength with empathy. He has pledged to increase military and financial aid, hoping to bolster Ukraine's defenses and deter further Russian aggression. This aid is not just a gesture of goodwill. It's a strategic move to ensure that Ukraine remains resilient in the face of ongoing threats. The logistics of delivering this aid are complex, but the commitment is clear, President Biden. But my efforts are complicated by the political realities in Washington. The partisan divide is stark and every decision is met with scrutiny and debate. Navigating this political landscape requires not just leadership, but also a keen understanding of the intricate dynamics at play. With the upcoming election looming, I must tread carefully, balancing the need to project strength on the world stage with the risk of alienating a war-weary American public. The electorate is divided and the pressure to make the right choices is immense. Every action taken now will have repercussions, not just for the present, but for the future of the nation. The race against time continues and the outcome remains uncertain. Across the Atlantic, President Volodymyr Ozawa faces his own set of challenges. The alleged leak within the US government has left him feeling betrayed and vulnerable. He knows that his country's survival depends on maintaining the support of its allies, but trust, once broken, is not easily repaired. President Ozawa, as a former comedian turned wartime leader, I've had to become a shrewd strategist. I understand that knowledge is power, especially in the shadowy world of espionage. That's why I've instructed our intelligence agencies to work independently of our US counterparts, seeking to uncover the truth about the leak and the identity of the mole. Ukrainian intelligence, renowned for its tenacity and resourcefulness, has been quietly gathering information. They are scrutinizing communication logs, analyzing financial transactions, and cultivating sources within the US government. They believe they are closing in on the truth. But each step closer brings them face to face with a chilling reality. The mole, if they exist, operates at the highest levels of power. 